Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look through a really quick, uh, nice method to factorise harder quadratics. So the ones where we don't just have 1x squared. So a is not equal to 1. So let's get cracking. So let's say then that we want to factorise 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. Then our first step is to multiply the coefficient of the x squared term by the number term at the end. Remember, coefficient just means the number multiplying an algebraic term. So here the coefficient of x squared is 2, and the number term is 3. So we do 2 times 3. Cracking, and we get 6. So now we need a pair of factors of 6 that add together to give us the coefficient of x in the middle. So what pair of factors of 6 add together to give us 7 minus 1 and 6. So 1 and 6 multiplies together to give us 6, adds together to give us the 7. So now our final step is to plonk each of those numbers in a bracket with a 2x. Now we're using a 2x here because we've got 2x squared in our quadratic. So that will give us 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 6. And then our final final step is if inside one or both of our brackets we've got a common factor, we divide it away. So in this uh, second bracket down here, 2x plus 6, there's a common factor of 2 between those two terms. We divide it away and that leaves us with 2x plus 1 times x plus 3. Now remember factorising can always be checked by expanding. So if you want to check that and expand that out, make sure we get the original expression at the top of the page. Okay, example two. So, step one, multiply the coefficient of x squared by the number term. So, 5 times 12 will give us 60. And now we want a pair of factors of 60. Uh, the adds together to give us 19. So if we list our factors of 60, or our pairs, we got 1 and 60, 2 and 30, 3 and 20, 4 and 15. Cracking. Now 4 and 15 add together to give us that 19 in the middle. So each of those get plonked in a bracket with a 5x. So 5x plus 4 times 5x plus 15 and then we've got a common factor of 5 in that second bracket let's get rid of him by dividing both terms by 5 that will give us x plus 3 there at the end jobs are good ok example 3 doesn't matter if we get negative numbers involved we can still deal with this so we're going to do 3 times minus 10 and that's going to give us minus 30. So we need a pair of numbers that multiply together to give us minus 30. But have uh, they add together to give us minus 1. Remember that minus x there in the middle is saying minus 1x. So the pair of numbers that brings to my mind will be 5 and minus 6. 5 minus 6 is minus 1. Uh, and 5 times minus 6 is minus 30. So each of those go in a bracket with a 3x. So we get 3x plus 5. And 3x minus 6. Then in that second bracket, we've got a common factor of 3. If we get rid of that, we'll be left with 3x plus 5 times x minus 2. Correcting. 4x squared minus 13x plus 3. So, 4 times 3 on a good day is 12. So we want a pair of numbers that multiply together to give us positive 12, but add together to give us minus 13. Those two numbers then would be minus 1 and minus 12. Minus 1 times minus 12 positive 12 minus 1 minus 12 is minus 13 as we need it to be so each of those goes in a bracket 
with a cheating over 4x. So we get 4x minus 1 times 4x minus 12. In the second bracket, we've got a common factor of 4. So if we divide that away, we'll be left with 4x minus 1 times x minus 3. Cracking, jobs are good. Okay, then the final part of this question, solve fg of x equals gf of x. So we've come across one like this before. Uh, we've got half of the information that we need. Uh, we've just worked out, or we've just shown what gf of x is. We now need to work out what f of g of x is. So to find f of g of x, we're substituting the g function into the f function so we'll get two lots of x squared plus 2 uh, minus that 3 at the end so we'll get uh, fg of x is 2 x squared plus 4 minus 3, which is 2x squared plus 1. So now we're being asked to solve, solve fg of x equals gf of x. We're being asked to solve 2x squared plus 1 is equal to 4x squared minus 12x plus 11 lovely okay so this is going to be a quadratic so we need to get everything on the same side with a nice fat zero on the other so if we take away that 2x squared we'll be left with 1 is equal to 2x squared minus 12x add 11 and then finally take away that 1, then we'll have 0 equals 2x squared minus 12x add 10. Now then, I would prefer to have my zeros on the right. So yes, we've got the 0 on the left as well, but we can just as easily put equals 0 there at the end. Okay, so now we need to solve that quadratic equation. Uh, before we try and factorise it, we've got a common factor of 2 running through. So if we divide that away, we're going to make our life much more simple. So that will leave us with x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals 0. Now we can factorise. So let's plonk an x in there, and an x in there. So now what two numbers multiply together to give us positive 5, but add together to give us minus 6. That's going to be minus 1, and minus 5. So x minus 1 times x minus 5 equals 0. That tells us our solutions are positive 1 and positive 5. So that's the equation fg of x equals gf of x solved. x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 5. Hope that's useful, guys. Was this video helpful? If so, be sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment telling me how you get on. For any further information, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter and send requests or any feedback you have. Search for Mouse with Mouth. Cheers, guys.